Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. I hope everyone's having a good day. Um, I'm just going to go through something. It's some months ago now. Um, Jack's brother uh, actually um, discussing his brother going missing. Let's get, just get straight into it and I'll comment after. Mum and dad's at around about uh, eight, nine o'clock um, in the evening. We know he went to a pub in town and then went on with a few friends to a house party in Hotwells. Mum had contacted him around about one o'clock uh, just to check if he was okay. Responded very normally, said he was going to get a taxi later to come home. Um, it then transpired about half five in the morning that Jack hadn't returned home. It was just very, very out of character. Some days we've been able to get bits of information via CCTV to get us to where we are now, but it's been a very slow process. But having your brother at the forefront of it is, um, yeah, it's, it's horrifying. Jack is, um, he's a very, very kind chap. Um, we're very, very close, have been. Yeah, we, yeah, yesterday was uh, Manchester United versus Arsenal, and uh, he's a big Man United fan, and I'm an Arsenal fan. So that really hit home, I think, yesterday. Not, you know, we'd always be watching that game together. Um, and having that for the first time, not being able to do that, that, uh, yeah, it, it was strange. And yeah, it's, uh, it is, it is, I suppose, sad, but really because of the uh, uncertainty of everything, we've not really been able to um, it, it, soak it in almost because there's lots of things, un, you know, answered. Wow, that was um, Jack O'Sullivan's uh, brother, um, who uh, basically was just putting out some um, information there of him missing. And it's funny because my brother's a um, Arsenal supporter and I'm Spurs, so I could understand um, that brotherly connection um, with his brother and it's just so sad to um to see that um we move on to Haley comet um uh, basically saying that um is jack alive i'm not so sure because like i said you know the, you know he seems like jack a very very intelligent guy and close to his parents and his brother and i'm sure he wouldn't just not speak with him if he was alive. Let's get straight into it. Come out and said that she believes that police are wrong. He hasn't just fallen into the water. She believes he's still alive. Now, I take mother's intuition very seriously. And I can tell you now from what we can see of Jack's case, there is absolutely no concrete evidence that he is deceased. So Jackie Sullivan's mum has come out and said that she believes that police are wrong. He hasn't just fallen into the water. She believes he's still alive. Now, I take mother's intuition very seriously and I can tell you now from what we can see of Jack's case, there is absolutely no concrete evidence that he is deceased or that he has gone into the water. Now, obviously, as a mum, she's going to want to keep hope that her son is alive. And like she says as well, I haven't been shown any evidence at all to prove that he isn't. She's also been shown a very lacklustre attempt by Avon and Somerset police to ever even look into his case or find out where Jack may be. Now, Jack disappeared on Saturday, March the 2nd, around 3.15. And you can see here the kind of route where he went to and where he was last seen on CCTV. Now, Jack's mum, Catherine, also goes on to say that the police have done dives and searches in the water. And they've found items as small as like a football and a wedding ring. But yet they found no trace of her son. And if you remember the video I did earlier this week, Jack went missing with a lot of items on him. A phone, a wallet, a card wallet thing, um, an air tag, car keys flat keys so he went missing with a lot of items and if you found a wedding ring but you found no trace of the 23 year old like who's to say that he ever went into that water Catherine also says that people who are very experienced in water searches have told her if he was in that water you'd have found something by now Cap i totally agree um they did do apparently a good search um of that water i do think um the police there um, think that he actually fell in and his body was never found and it also seems like to me um, they think they've put a lot of man hours um, into this case but Jack um, has still not been found and obviously his 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 you know his, his phone was still on hours after way um, after near uh, uh, basically an area where there's um, flats 
um, which was um, kind of strange. Did someone have um, his phone? Um, there's a lot of unanswered stuff in this case because we hear of an altercation um, at the party he actually went back to and these were some new friends um, who he was with. Did that altercation, uh, I've said it before, uh, go on after? It does make you wonder, um, does anybody know anybody else that was at that party know what happened because if that was my friend you know you, you would be putting out so much um uh, uh basically information of the party when he left timelines and really um little people um very little people have said anything and also what we've got to look at um, as, as, you know, as, 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 as well. Catherine, his mum, have, have, have been technically the police, um, an investigator. She's got a private investigator um, involved that actually talked to some of the people at the party. But some of these people should have come forward and told their stories um, anyway, because I think there is a, um, a little bit of suspicion of um, when he was actually sort of um, last seen by people. You know, I always tend to go back with, you know, there were people around and who he was with um, at the time. I know that he was um, walking around to um, catch a taxi and um, seemed a, um, a very with it uh, kind of guy. But after drinks or um, meeting someone or running into somebody, uh, maybe an altercation, I think, uh, personally, um, but um, where is he? It is very, very, very strange indeed. And if anyone's got any news or I will look up more articles um, to put up because obviously his family is still frantically um, trying to locate him. Catherine says that the police kind of were going off purely where his phone last pinged. And she said, who's to say that he actually was still with his phone? She said that basically the police have not put any effort into anything and there seems to be not a lot of searching done for her son. Catherine's theory is that, she says, although I must stress there isn't any firm evidence to substantiate it, he got into a car, knowingly or unknowingly. A taxi or many cars he thought were a taxi have taken him out of the immediate centre and dropped him somewhere. It's really hard for me. This is the only thing I do every minute of the day when I'm awake. I'm looking for my Jack, trying to make sense of it all and keep all the momentum going. I'm not prepared to accept that Jack is not here until someone gives me some evidence of where he is. I know that might sound crazy, but the facts are not here. Where is he? You know, it's sad to say, I've got to be completely honest. I just don't think Jack is alive. I think the first thing he would do was contact um, his mum, father or brother um, if he was in distress or something. Um, something happened um, that night. And I just got, you know, sometimes you've got sometimes these feelings that it just, it wasn't very good. Until I get some further information for me, Jack is somewhere and I will keep looking. It's heartbreaking, absolutely heartbreaking. And I wish that we were in a better situation all these months later where we could say that the police have done a good job, even a good job in searching for Jack. But the truth is they haven't. They haven't even pushed to get his face out everywhere. Please share this post, guys. I've got done many posts now about Jack O'Sullivan. He's 23. He's somebody's son. He's somebody's brother. He's a lot of people's friend. And he needs to be found. So, Thank you, um, Hayley Comet, um, for that. Um, she put that out on the 25th of the 9th this year, 25th of September. Um, I do think, like I said, somebody knows something and there has to be more information um, out there. So I'm going to put this out again. Um, if anybody knows something or an update, um, please message me and I will try to give that to the public. Thank you.